Hello, crafty friend Sparkle here. Say, sorry for the mess. Let's see, I have some stuff here. I have some boxes. And some glue. And this cute little charger I got from Dollar Tree to put some things in while I'm working. But I'm going to move it for now. But it's it's kind of cute. They had all different kinds. So, um, I've been mission, missing in action because um, last Tuesday I went in for a routine um, dental procedure. And they were going to replace a crown. But um, after about an, 40 minutes of being in my mouth and doing the procedure and getting it all cleaned out, um, I felt something pop. I think she broke my tooth, although she'll never admit it. Um, and I had to have an extraction, a bone graft, and some stitches. And then um, until this morning, I couldn't open my jaw very well to talk. So that was a blessing for some people who wanted me to be still. But um, it was hard for me to just be quiet. So I'm going to try now um, and see how this goes. This is a, a box that I made into a little treasure chest. And I just put some Christmas goodies on it. Um, I didn't have my feet that I normally use, but I had these big old, um, what do you call them, magnets, and they work. It's a good height. And then this is just a brass um, filigree with a key. And I just had some um, some glitter on here and on one of my little dolls from, oh, I'm going to have to think where these came from. I don't want to say the wrong channel. But you just pop it open, and I didn't um, do anything on the inside here, but I could stamp it or something or put paper. But you can put a lot of goodies in here, candies, treats, little cookies. And this was a, a tea box. Now, I don't have this tea box anymore. It was the flip kind. I looked. I didn't have one in my cupboard, but I did have um, – I – I, I'll show you how, when I work on these, I open them up, and I did try to trace it. So this is the same style, but it's just a tad smaller, okay? But it's the style that I like, but it's a little shorter. But that's okay. We'll use it. But what I did was, when I get my boxes... I um, carefully, very carefully, take them apart, okay? And um, this one I just uh, try to copy from that, but it's not a very good template. And this was just a file folder because I didn't have anything long enough. So um, it'll do for what I want to do. I was just going to cover this one with, um, I found this napkin here. If it's not, if it's still salvageable. And you just want to make sure that it's going to cover top to bottom. Um, or like I did with this one, I used two different papers. There's one paper here and there's another paper there. So, you know, you can play with it. But I want to put a napkin on this one. And I know that's going to have to dry. So I thought um, before we take, I found another one. And this one is a different kind of closure. But before we take this apart, I thought we would glue this so it could start drying. So again, um, this is just a napkin. It was uh, from, I received a care package from um, Brenda. And this was in there. The Simple Crafter, and this was in there. So I want to use this. I'm going to use my, um, if I can open it. Yeah. I, I couldn't even open my jaw. The pain was so bad. It's it's feeling a little bit better today, so that's good. But scary. You don't have to do the tabs. Um, you don't have to do the tabs because you won't see them, but you could do the side. So we're just going to um, put this on. Well... We're going to cover everything. 
just because I gotta move quick because I'm sitting under a fan. I don't want this to dry. Maybe I'll start with halfway. I don't know how it'll work with the um the napkin. Like I said, I only have one, so it's a one and done kind of thing. Let's I'll put it on the top there. And um yeah, it ripped while I was sitting here playing with it. I'm going to stand up, so excuse me. I want to sort of get it. Sort of get it on top. Hmm. This might not be such a great idea with a napkin. Come on. Might just go back with plan B, which was I need to get it to the top. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's just go forward. It's been a while, so I'm a little rusty, I guess, on my my skills. Oh my goodness. No. No what? And scratch this idea. Because, first of all, I'm sitting under a fan. And second of all, sorry, Brenda. I will get another napkin later. I have some Christmas paper here. And this will work just fine. So, I think. Um, this is the front, and this is the bottom. So I'm going to put this paper here is from Scrapbooking with Me. Yeah, we're just going to take our glue stick. front part that we're going to see. This will work much better. Yes, I am so sorry I did that. I don't, normally don't have problems putting napkins on, but like I said, I'm sitting under the fan. I'm hot. I don't feel 100% yet. And this, just center it on here. Okay, best you can. And that's okay if the sides, if we need paper there, we can put it on after. And um, I'm going to sew this. So. We'll um, cut this out. Like I said, you could line the inside. It's not really necessary. And I um, hope you're all doing good doing well. I thought about you all, but I don't know. I just get so frustrated. I go for a simple thing and it gets complicated, you know? And next week, or this coming Friday, I have to go for a HIDA scan because they're still checking my liver, my gallbladder, my kidneys. So, I don't want to have an infection. 
so I was taking antibiotics, but I think I'll be done by Wednesday. So that'll be good. Now you could use anything to cover this, of course. Fabric would be nice. Okay, we got that, we got that. Um, I like to just leave a little bit extra because when you fold it, sometimes that takes some that takes some room out. So we're just cutting this out. Yeah, I thought we would put um, the tissue on this, the napkin, so that it could dry, but I'll come back and do another napkin one. i got to get some more, um, go through my cupboard and find some more boxes. I mean, you could do these any size if you have, like, pudding boxes or, um, I don't know, small rice boxes, stuff like that. So, that's rough. And then what I do is I, I um, get the fold, find the fold. And start putting creases. Now that's as far as we have, okay. But when you get it together, which we're not going to do yet because I want to put the bottom piece on, um, I'm going to just fold this over and decide if I'm going to put another piece on in a minute because what will happen is what will happen is this will go like this let's just put a paper clip here so, so we have a visual I'm surprised it fits as well as it does. And this will go on there as well. Okay. And then we have to cover this side yet. So that was one piece of paper, okay? So we'll just go... Now this this is the part that'll be facing you. So if there's a design I want it facing down here. So again these are more papers from from Miss Edith. So I'm gonna just put this I'm gonna um I'm not gonna go over it because I can put something on the seam here. So I'm just going to add my glue down here. Um, we don't need the sides, but I'm doing them anyway. And um, a day, a day of glory. I don't know that song. And we're just going to put it right here we're going to um right on the seam because we can put some lace up there when we're done so yeah you need two pieces of paper 
usually for something like this. because we have to do the size. All right, so here we're just going to get this all cleaned up here. Yeah, I didn't do too bad trying to make a template, but it was hard. Plus, I wasn't feeling good, but I kept doing it anyway. I want to make something. So, I'm sorry I'm off camera, I'm just giving this a little trim. Yeah, this is a good weight. Yeah, I bet you these would be cute with fabric, like if you had lacy fabric or something. I don't know if I'd be that good at it. I could handle paper. Yeah, so go and find two pa two papers that you like in a in a box, like a tea box or something of that sort. And hmm. All right, so then we have to crease this. And these have to go down. And this has to go down. So. Let's fold it up again. We have the front. We have this. And I just like to paper clip it so I can get a good visual, see what it, where it needs work. This is going to get glued up here. This will get glued here. This will get glued here. So yeah, it's very similar, but it's just tinier. And once it's um, glued down, it'll all lay flat. But here you go. And so I would, ne next step would be I would take it to the sewing machine and I would sew around it because that's what I like to do. Okay? I just sew it around the whole box. See the stitches? All right? And then you would glue it back together and then you could decorate it. But before we go there, I'll show you how I deconstruct my box. So I just took my box. I'm going to break. I want to use these as gifts. Is I took my box and just be really careful. Now this one's different. It has um, it was an opening this way. So I thought I would, I could cut this across here and make this a flip, or I could just leave it long. And I thought I could take one of my, um, one of these that I made, you know, or make one. And let's see if this would go around it. Now, you don't want it to be too tight, okay? Let's try this one. You don't want it to be tight that it buckles. So, let's see. And you can put that. You 
know, you could do something like that. So we're just, we're not going to cut anything right now. We're just going to carefully deconstruct our box without ripping it if we can. Now, this one's different because it has this here. So I don't know if I can deconstruct this. I might have to just take this one and cover it in pieces. Because if I deconstruct this, this is going to break. Hold up. So for those of you that know me, you know that I'm a coffee snob. So I have lost the coffee boxes. So this was another one, okay? However, I wasn't sure how to handle this one. Because here's the opening. When you open it, and you flip it, I guess we could tuck this down, and it could go this way, and just have this flip closed. But anyway, I, I took it all apart. And I would go through it and I would repair anything that looked like it needed a little help. Or if something could come off, I would take it off. These are just little blue things. We'll leave them. But, um, yeah. And then I would take it from there. But I have to um, address this. So, how do I want to handle this? Okay, this is definitely the bottom. Now, if I wanted to go sideways, what if I opened it here? What would happen? So this is where I'm stumped. So this this style box, I'd have to make this be my opening here, and. If I did that, then it's short here. So I would have to add something here to extend this to make it flip. So it's doable, but I'm not going to do it right at this time. I'm going to go back to this one and um, not open it, but cover it. So this one will take a little work, okay? So, if I were to put this on here, I might just glue this like this, cut it out, and then I'll have to piece that. So, let me find the center. Okay, so I do want it to go this way. So, I will put my glue on here, and that's the part I want down. Let me see if that. Yeah. Okay, so that can go here. And this one we'll have to do in stages, okay? So we're going to cut it. 
to here. Cut it here. creases as we go. Let's cut this edge here. I am going to put some glue around the edges because I'm not going to be able to sew this whole thing. Obviously. Obviously I can't sew box that's already folded, but I'll figure something out. Okay, I'll, I'll clean that with um, a punch or something. And then we'll glue this here. See, so we're just going to let we can cut this off. Or no, it's not gonna fit. It almost fits. It almost fits. No, nope. let's just cut it off. I won't be happy with it. Trim this off here. And okay. So I know this is a labor of love, but if you want to make something fun for somebody, this is great. Just all I'm saying is don't be afraid to try something. Okay, so I know I have to glue this here, but I was thinking of um, uh, the next piece would be wrapped here or here. You're just going to be like collaging a box, basically. Okay, so let's. Put this on, and this totally might not be your your style. I'm just giving you some options. I like to play with things that are different. A little quirky. See, and it's starting to take shape. So you'll continue. Um, Uh, piecing stuff together. This Christmas trees might might be well on here. There'll be partial trees. I'm not sure. So that's that. Um, I'm gonna have to go print some more paper. I do have a piece of music paper left. And I think yeah, I used the whole sheet of that. Um, I don't have any Christmas paper printed, but let's see how this would look. I don't think I want the poinsettia, but the music would be okay. So I might put this on here, except it's upside down. So, I think 
poster like that. That would be okay. So I might put this here. And then... I want that there. Yeah, that'd be pretty. Okay, so this is one, one, two, three, four, five and a half. Five and a half, so this might fit here. One, two, uh, it's going to be a little short. One, maybe it'll fit, it'll fit on the bottom. Okay, so decide do I want this like this? No, I want this one. Like I like I planned. Okay, um, this is perforated, so I want to be careful. I might line this. Let's see. Just to reinforce that a little bit. I don't know if it's necessary, but that's what we're going to do. So let's glue that. And just pop that in here and in here. Don't want to rip it. Okay, and this will get glued on here. Now, you know, if you have a different way and a a different suggestion, please. It's just that each box is going to be a little different, okay? So, you just want to customize it, make it your own. And this will be fine. 
And we could um, um, we're going to put a thumb hole here. Let's see. scissors to clean up in here. I'm just going to cut this a little bit. So I'm going to finish collaging this. Um, this one can go down here. I'm going to start at the top. And then I'm going to have to go around and reinforce my seam. Because this is not going to be sewed. And I'll clean it up as I go. Ink it up, clean it up, make it pretty. I don't like that way that looks. It's a little bit better. Okay. And then, like I said, this one I'll probably put this on for a closure. After it's all done. So I'm going to go off camera and finish um, collaging this. Um, I will sew this one and then maybe I'll come back and show you. Okay, hold on. Okay, my friends, this is as far as I'm going to go today. This one is all covered. I want to ink it. Um, I did put this closure on it, so when you take it off, oops, <laughs> um, I just have a piece of lace here over the seam, and I'm going to um, decorate it. I want to ink it. I might put some um, filigree, if I can find them. They're not in here, but I think, oops. I think I have some little corners where I can cut some of these in half, and I want to put some little corners on this one. Okay, and then this one, I just put this in here to hold it. This one's all stitched around, and it all went together, and it turned out quite cute. I'm I'm pleased with it. Uh, it needs also to be decorated. I thought for this closure, I um, have this filigree and a flower, and I'm going to glue the flower to that and put that on here, and then we can decorate it. I'll probably do that off camera later. Um, my voice is getting tired. Uh, I think I talked enough. Give my mouth a break. Uh, so this will go on here. I could put some kind of jewel. I could put some kind of jewel in there if I have something small. Let's look in here. It's got to fit. Oh, that's too big. 
put this pearl. Oh, maybe this one. That one will fit. Put a little more glue. Oops. Okay, we're going to have to I'm going to have to let this sit till it all adheres. Ah, making it worse. Okay. It will all adhere. And then this will this will go on the front there. Okay. And we can just put our feet on real quick. Like I said, I'm just using these magnets. And, um, yeah, this box turned out quite cute for being homemade. I just want to show you, just, you know, use what you have. You don't need to put feet on them. I like to so that it's, um, has something to stand on when it's but yeah I'll get some more laces and stuff uh, this one I want to put something um, along all these seams here so either some washi or something I'm not sure yet what we'll do with that but so there's three different style boxes and um, you know, use what you have, and they will um, just be really cute to put things. Oops, why did I do that? Oh, my goodness, sparkle. Oh. Okay, I can repair that. I'm sure I got, I can put another piece of paper over that. Just let it dry. I get so impatient. So, there you go, my friends. Hope you all have a beautiful day, and thanks for stopping by. Bye now.